Now so far we've been accessing the file sequentially. This rectangle represents the byte sequence in the file, starting at the left and ending on the right. Now Linux maintains a marker which I've called the file position pointer which tracks where we are in the file and where the next read or write will occur. Unless I open the file for appending, this marker will start off at the beginning of the file. If I now read from the file, the file position pointer advances. If I read some more, it advances further. So this is the normal sequential access. Now the system call lseek allows us to explicitly position the file pointer so that we can control exactly where in the file the next read or write will start. You need of course an open file descriptor, you specify a byte offset which can be positive or negative, and you can position the pointer either relative to the start of the file, or relative to where you are now, or relative to the end. Let's have a look at some examples. Here we're seeking 100 bytes forward relative to the current position and the file position pointer ends up like this. Here we're seeking to an absolute offset of 100 bytes relative to the start of the file. So the file position pointer ends up here. And in this example, we're seeking 100 bytes before the end of the file. Notice the offset here is negative. So the file position pointer ends up 100 bytes before the beginning of the file. Now what happens if we specify a positive offset relative to the end of the file? Is this an error? Actually, no. What happens is that the file is conceptually extended. Now if you tried to do a read at that point, you'd get end of file back immediately. Um, but if you try and do a write at that point, that's fine. The file will be extended and a hole will be created. Now this hole doesn't consume any disk space until such time as you write to it, uh, and it will read back as zeros. Uh, this is sometimes useful for applications that want to maintain large but sparse files. Uh, let's look at some code. What we're doing here is we're defining a, a, what we'll call a record uh, just in terms of a simple C structure. And the idea is to store an array of these records in a file. Uh, this integer variable size is being set to the number of bytes in the record. So we start by opening the file. Notice we're opening it for reading and writing. Continuing the example, what we're doing here is we're seeking one record along from the beginning of the file. Effectively, we're skipping the first record. So at this point, we read the second record into memory. Here we make some token modification to the record. And we want to write it back out again. But what we need to remember is that the read has advanced the file position pointer. So it's actually now pointing to the next record. So we then seek back, effectively we're backspacing over the record that we've just read so that this write will write the modified record back into its original position in the file. Uh, just out of interest, lseek returns the new file offset relative to the start so that if you lseek to the end of a file, the return value gives you a cheap and cheerful way to determine its size. 